Welcome back dear students in your science class. Today we will discuss why friction is a necessary evil. Friction plays an important role in our daily life. In some cases friction is useful and hence necessary. While in other cases it is harmful and hence an evil. Let us understand why friction is necessary or what are the advantages of friction. First, friction helps us to hold things with our hands like a cup or a glass. The force of friction between the cup and the surface of our hand prevents the cup from slipping and provides the grip. Second, friction helps us to stand, walk and run. The friction between the sole of our shoe and the surface of the ground prevents us from slipping. When we push the ground backwards while walking, the opposing force of friction pushes the foot forward, thus preventing it from slipping back. If the floor is wet or well polished, the floor is said to be slippery as the friction is very less and we can easily slip on such a floor. Similarly, if we step on a banana peel, we may slip as the friction is less due to the smooth surface of the banana peel. Third, friction helps us to write. The friction between the tip of the pencil and the surface of the paper helps us to write as the lead from the pencil rubs off and sticks to the paper. Similarly, the teacher is able to write on the blackboard with a chalk. Friction causes the chalk particles to rub off which stick to the blackboard. Fourth, friction helps to fix nails in the wall. The friction between the nail and the surface of the wall holds the nail tightly in the wall. Nails and screws can be held in wood due to friction. Fifth, the friction between the tires and the rough surface of the road enables vehicles to move safely on the road. That is why we observe more incidents of vehicles skidding on greasy or wet roads on rainy days. Even friction between the brake shoe and the wheel slows down or stops a moving vehicle. Sixth advantage. Friction produces heat. It is possible to light a matchstick only because of the friction between the matchstick and the matchbox.